huge stain on his reputation to say the least. And this really feels like a fall from grace. You know, once you're ready to share it with your fans in the world, then nobody could judge it. Understanding and knew that I'm not the, the worst of what I've done. It seems like Jay-Z might be going to jail after all, and it's none the other his Beth Diddy who snitched on him and told the feds everything about Jay's involvement in his criminal ring. In case you haven't noticed, Jay has been suspiciously silent in the past weeks while Diddy's criminal saga was unfolding in front of our eyes from raids to his victim's claims. His friend Jay-Z smelled the trouble and it said he was gearing up with strongest lawyer team in the country because he's afraid that the feds will investigate him next. Apparently, Diddy realizes what deep trouble he's in and he tries to reduce his sentence by snitching on everyone else. And Jay-Z was the first on his list. Does he been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years? But as it turned out, Jay chose the wrong partner in crime to trust to, and Diddy doesn't want to go down alone, so he's dragging his pal Sean Carter in the legal saga. As sources close to Jay-Z state, the music producer didn't expect such a betrayal because, in his turn, he stayed completely silent on all Diddy's allegations. But here's the thing, Diddy's plan is to portray himself as a pawn in Jay's game, and he's saying that he was the real kingpin of the industry who pulled the strings all this time. There's been a lot of shady things that Jay has been involved in over the years, and the list of his own crimes is worth a thorough investigation. If the feds are getting a warrant to search his lavish mansion as well, he might be the next in line to be thrown in jail, next to other predatory pals like R. Kelly and even Diddy himself. I mean, this man's life has been full of red flags and illegal relationships, like the one he allegedly had with Foxy Brown. Jay, finally, finally this year, you don't let him know. Niggas ask him straight up like, yo, what's the situation with Foxy? The story goes that the producer set his eyes on this talented girl when she was barely 15 years old. At that moment, Jay was approaching 30. And as he always said, their relationship was nothing else but business and music. Yet the whispers are saying that he was the first man in Foxy's life. According to the sources, he convinced her into being intimate with him by in exchange for her career's advancement. But the whole thing was kept in secret and Foxy even had to debunk the rumors. Jay has only been wonderful to me and my family, a great friend throughout all the years I've known him and we had nothing but great success as a team. But here's the thing, Foxy suddenly disappeared from the spotlight and some insiders attributed that to her secret pregnancy from Jay. It's still unknown whether he made her got rid of the baby or just hushed her with cash and blackballed her from the industry. Jay's ex-best friend, Dan Dash, was later asked what really happened between those two, but he refused to give a clear answer. At what age was Foxy Brown signed? I wasn't paying attention to Foxy Brown. But that's, I didn't sign Foxy Brown. I know Stop you putting me in that. Ass. But judging by the way Dame reacted to a seemingly innocent question, it raises the suspicion that something illegal was going on. First of all, Dame refused to discuss the topics related to Foxy's age and her being mentored by Jake. But you see, Dame Dash didn't want to expose himself as an accomplice in the illegal relationship. And that's quite understandable. He said, it sounds like you have a question. For Jay, ask him. You keep asking me questions. Y'all want to ask him because he ain't here. Ask him. I ain't got nothing to do with that. And I don't even know nothing about that. While he was reluctant to discuss Foxy, he didn't hesitate to reveal details about Jay's attempts to pursue a relationship with another R&B, Hottie Alea. A big deal. Like, who could get with Aaliyah? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. all, but, like, was he bitter? Obviously. He shared that Jay would often invite Alea to his parties and dates, hoping to win her over, but she was not interested. Dame also mentioned Jay's efforts to woo her, including sending flowers and trying to court her. But Alea wasn't interested in Jay, and she chose Dame to be her boyfriend, which kind of made Jay angry. And as you know, Alea's life was tragically cut short soon after she made her choice. There's a belief that he was a part of the industry's sacrifice, and her demise paved the way to Jay's wife, Beyonce. While there's no solid proof to this, Fans have been discussing this theory for years. As one person commented, why is everyone surprised on all this? Isn't this part of the hip hop image and part of going large? And another user added, not surprised at all. Diddy and Jay were always at the top of something. Common y'all really think they're going to become billionaires that fast without doing some shady stuff. Following Alea's tragic demise, there were rumors suggesting foul play with claims that she was sedated and placed on the plane without her consent. It was also insinuated that Jay manipulated Beyonce when was still under 18, but in order to avoid jail, he waited until she's of age. There was, I don't think you discussed it. And then four days later, you, we find out you're, you got married. Happen? Jay and Diddy both have the same way of manipulating the industry, and there are many victims that suffered from their shady dealings and schemes. But with Diddy trying to save himself from the sad fate, it may look like the spotlight and media attention will be directed at Jay now. And folks, Jay has no less count of victims than Diddy. Recently, a well-buried story has surfaced describing the mysterious demise of Jay-Z alleged lover Kathy White. She was rumored to have had an affair with Jay-Z and passed away under mysterious circumstances after allegedly threatening to expose their relationship. 
As the journalist who worked on that story mentioned, I then uncovered photos of Kathy hanging with Jay-Z and Diddy, no less, at Teo nightclub in Las Vegas. So I called her back and asked her about the photo evidence that debunked her initial claim that she had never met or hung out with Jay-Z. However, her revelations about Jay-Z never made it to any media because she was found without any signs of life, leaving the internet detectives connect the dots. Um, the industry publicist supposedly was the mistress of Jay-Z. He allegedly gave her the same ring as the one he gave to Beyonce. Apparently, as soon as Jay heard that White had considered going public with details of her affair with this man, the fate was sealed. And here's just one interesting detail you must know. All these whispers of Jay's affairs coming to the surface somehow coincided with Beyonce's pregnancy announcement. As one tabloid wrote, then little more than 48 hours after the announcement that Beyonce was pregnant with Jay-Z's baby, this young lady suddenly passes away under suspicious circumstances. This story only raises questions about the motive and whether Jay-Z or Beyonce might have had a role in the alleged crime to protect their brand. You can either address it or you can pretend until it blows up at some point. Kathy White's sudden departure has set the rumor mills on fire. According to the insiders, Kathy's entire identity was wiped out as if this lady has never existed. Plus, this story of her allegedly passing away because of brain aneurysm. People are saying that it's more like Jay wanted her out of the picture. Let's just think logically for a moment. Just as Beyonce and Jay-Z are basking in the glow of their baby announcement, Kathy's shocking story is being hushed and her entire life being wiped out in order for the Carters to protect their empire and name. That I had the level of consciousness then that I have now things would have turned out differently. Jay-Z has gotten away with so many things, watching his friends going down for some serious crimes one after another. First, he disassociated himself from R. Kelly, who was convicted of absolutely disgusting things, very similar to what Diddy is about to face. Now, it's Diddy's turn as he suddenly finds himself in hot water with Homeland Security. People were saying he was off to the Caribbean escaping the drama, but fast forward to the present day, he was witnesses strutting in Miami, free as a bird, sparking rumors that he's cut a deal, it's clear that there are broader issues within the entertainment industry, and the net of alleged misconducts is wide and includes all Diddy's pals, with Jay-Z being at the forefront of allegations of sacrificing and manipulating others. So Jay, on the other side, he did what he had to do. The recent raid on Diddy's properties by Homeland Security might have made him think of a potential deal with authorities that could implicate Jay-Z and others and grant Diddy a less severe punishment. With Jay-Z possibly facing a huge legal trouble and with Diddy seemingly ready to sing like a canary, many fans are getting ready for the juiciest chapter in hip hop's book of secrets. As one person commented, whoever thought thinks Jay-Z is innocent should go get checked out. And another user added, if Jay-Z is doing something that is against the law and once the police get into it and come for Jay-Z, they will also come for Beyonce too. This story is only just beginning to unfold, and we are about to see how Jay-Z navigates this storm of accusations. But folks, what do you think about all this? Will Jay-Z be next in line to get exposed for his crimes? And did Diddy actually snitched on him? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to check my other videos. 